Okay, so uh, thanks for coming on, Charlie. Um, so tell me a little bit about your new film, A Tale of Two Barnets. Well, A Tale of Two Barnets is about basically the residents of the, the borough, the London borough of Barnet uh, in North London. And it's a platform for them to, to talk about the issues that concern them. And there are some, you know, there's some, there's some, there's some things that I learned through the course of this, of making this film. It was very informative to me personally. Um, uh, that there are some, you know, there's some really important issues that, that are affecting people's lives uh, mm -hmm. here in the borough, and, and you know, I hope that uh, this film will, you know, affect change for the good. One of the things you touched on in the film is about privatisation, and how how is that affecting Barnet? How what are people's views on that? Well, most people who live here seem to think that it's a really bad idea, and uh, also um, I've talked with uh, an economist um, and a professor and some. So some of the people who, who, who are familiar with that sort of thing, and uh, I mean, first of all, Barnett has a very poor, poor track record with um, outsourcing. Mm -hmm. And second of all, uh, second of all, um, there's more, I mean, there's, they, they tried to do it before in the 80s. There was a program of outsourcing which, um, which failed miserably. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, so you know, there's a history in that sense as well. And so the general consensus is um, that it's a terrible idea. Uh, but the, I mean, the, the, the council, I mean, I know they mean well. I mean, they're just trying to save money. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's not about, like, good versus evil or anything, but it's just the fact is, uh, I personally, after making this film, don't think it's a good idea. So, I mean, that's quite interesting, because what are the two Barnets? Well, the Tale of Two Barnets is a play on the, uh, the, the Tale of Two Cities by mm -hmm. uh, Charles Dickens, and it's the 200th anniversary of, of uh, his, his birth right, um, this year. And uh, I tell us who... Uh, and uh, it's, uh, one of his um, one of his novels was set in Barnet, which I noticed. And um, uh, mm -hmm. and um, the, which the one, which novel was set in Barnet? Um, mm, <laughs> it, it escapes me at the moment. Fair enough. <laughs> but um, but actually, uh, uh, Tale of Two Cities was about the sort of the difference between um, well the the the, uh, the aristocracy. It was it was sort of a it was a, um, a commentary on um, England at the time, but it was actually set in France. Mm -hmm. um, and it, but it <clears throat> put like it, it pointed out the parallels between um, 18th century France and like contemporary London of the time mm -hmm. of, of Dickens, and how, uh, how the aristocrats were like had their, their boot on the uh, on the neck of the you know the peasants. And then what what happened was um, the uh, so after the revolution, the, the, the tides were, the tables were kind of turned. Anyway, I, I um, I was, I was looking around for a name to, uh, to put to this, to the Barnet. And what I, what I, what I sort of came, came across was that, um, the, uh, it seems like the council members don't really, they appreciate what, what, what goes on for most of the people here mm -hmm. in the Barnet, mm -hmm. in the, in the Barnet. Yeah, I noticed you, you interviewed the leader of Barnet Council, for instance. So yes. is he the... Aristo with the foot on the neck of uh, the local people. Yes, he is. <laughs> Actually, he's a very, he's a very nice, very nice fellow. Um, but, um, but I think uh, he's a, the, the impression I came away with was he's a little bit out of touch. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, hopefully, he'll see the film and you know maybe it'll change you know, what's, what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm quite interested in these the different layers that you get in the same place. So. People experience a town. You know, if you're homeless, you're going to experience a town in a very different way than if you're uh, a Polish worker, which is very different from someone who's been there for you know four generations or whatever. I mean, do you explore those different communities in the in the film? Well, um, I, interview all, I interviewed all sorts of people, um, very elderly uh, members of the community, uh, active active members, um, mm -hmm. not, not like ancient or anything, but they were old, older um, members of the community and uh, different, different levels of uh, sort of, uh, how do you say, um, uh, like social classes, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I did met, uh, interview different members and they had different, um, different views as to what was going on, what was, what was necessary and what was, you know, what was happening. Hmm. Um, so there were different issues brought up in the film, things like parking. Um, the fact that the, some of the, the shops and small businesses are dying in Barnet. Yeah. Did you come up with solutions to uh, those? Um, well, you know, cuts have to be made. 
Um, but I mean, there's the 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 cuts. I mean, the, the parking the parking issue, for example. Um, that's just a really bad idea because just people just stop going out to the places that like need it the most. You know, um, as far as solutions, mm, you know. That's 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 not my job. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. my job is to ask questions and you know see how, you know, see what, mm -hmm. well, find the answers um, to. Uh, well, I guess judge. No, my job is to make a film that like <laughs> shows what what issues are affecting. People. So do you think you managed to get people to to, to help articulate their voice? Oh, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, you can t you can tell that the changes affect some people more than others in the film. Um, like uh, there was one one fellow who was relating to me a story uh, about uh, his neighbor who who used to visit it. Her grandchildren would come visit her all, all the time, all all the time in the week. Um, all of a sudden, it uh, it becomes you know it, the the parking goes up by several pounds. You know, mm -hmm. it goes from like thirty five p to four pounds in in under a decade. And right? all of a sudden, well. They can't visit her anymore. It was a you know a huge mm -hmm. pleasure for this lady, and uh, now all of a sudden she can't you know she can't. This is like, and that you know that's what well being's all about mm -hmm. is uh, you know people want to get out. So with your experience of making the film, are you put off making films altogether, or what's the next oh, project? Well, that's a positive experience. I'm uh -huh. thinking. Of uh, doing a project uh, in Greece, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to Greece to do some research mm -hmm. um, for that. Um, and uh, as for the next project, well, I would also like to make a, like a film with a script. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm talking with some people about that, so you know, we'll see what happens. That's great. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you.